Now I've got a question which is uh, really focusing on gross profit and ensuring that you can actually pick out the relevant information to calculate gross profit accurately. So the first thing you need to look for is of course your revenue and then you need to subtract your cost of sales. Now this is a four mark question. Again, pause the uh, video now if you want to have a go at this. Okay, so the first thing to notice is uh, that you've got 65,303 plus uh, the credit sales there, okay? So you need to add those two together uh, and that will tell you the actual uh, total revenue that is actually generated by the business in this period. And that equals uh, 78,912. So you can pop that down nice and straightforward. Uh, the next thing is to be aware of how to actually calculate your cost of sales. And that, of course, is uh, your opening stock or your opening inventories uh, plus your purchases minus your closing inventories. So we can therefore see that a couple of uh, key purchases have really been made. Uh, we can see cash purchases, we can see credit purchases uh, having been made, uh, and we can also see this closing inventories here. Uh, so this closing inventories is going to be a minus figure here. So uh, let's just make sure we're aware of that. So as we work through this, that we then start at zero because that's our opening inventories. Then we add on those cash purchases of 286. Then we add on our credit purchases, which amount to what 10,080 there. Uh, so let's put those through. So that then gives us a figure of uh, 10,366. So 10,366. And then we just subtract from that our closing inventory. So that is 712. And that therefore gives us um, 9,000. 654 uh, so uh, the next thing of course that we've got to do is to use that figure of 9654 to deduct that from our actual sales that have taken place in that period so we got 78912 uh, minus the 9654 giving us a figure amounting to 69,258 okay so uh, there's your answer uh, again just make sure you show you're working if you actually illustrate how how to actually go about these calculations again you'll pick up the marks that you need there all right so make sure you show that working it's really important and show that working in the box not where I've done it here, okay, I've just done that to illustrate it on the camera. Uh, so make sure you then finally put your answer along this space that's provided.